After a long stay in La Spezia, conducting repairs and getting the crew plenty of R&R, &R, the time has come for U-75 to depart the safety of port once again and make our way into the lethal waters of the Mediterranean. We would be departing midday on July 17th. As I boarded the sleek U-boat, the port around me was bustling with activity. The mooring lines were slipped away from U-75 and the diesel engines roared to life. Here we go, patrol number four in the med. No serious improvements have been made to our boat while in port. However, our Italian friends conducting repairs on the boat thought it would be fitting to enhance U-75's coat of paint, and I must say, I'm quite the fan of it. Our boat gracefully maneuvered behind the minesweeper escort, who also happened to be escorting an Italian submarine out to sea. Although our last patrol almost got us killed, Morale on board is high, especially after receiving news that Rommel's Africa Corps had captured the small port of Tobruk. This has been an objective of the Africa Corps for quite some time, and the British 8th Army has retreated back into Egypt. Despite the news, we will be proceeding to Libya once again to patrol for Allied convoys. The Tommies hold on Malta remains tenuous, and they are sending frequent convoys to resupply the small island fortress. These convoys are frequently pummeled by air and by sea. Our orders from our commanders in Rome are to patrol for these convoys heading out of Egypt. Our course is also going to bring us past Malta once again, requiring the crew to be diligent to spot incoming aircraft. Additionally, during daylight hours we will remain submerged to avoid being constantly bombed from the skies. Not even three days into patrol number four, and the Tommies already have given us a very warm welcome. Petty Officer Sigmund Hiffel, who occasionally has mistaken seagulls for aircraft, was peering into the murky clouds when he shouted down aircraft spotted. After the last patrol, no one was going to take any chances. The alarm was sounded, and U-75 plummeted to a depth of 70 meters. What? Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. It seemed like minutes passed as the crew gazed up, waiting for the inevitable explosion. They eventually came, rattling the boat. But the airdrop depth charges were set way too shallow. Five minutes after diving, the hydrophone operator picked up a warship contact closing on our position. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back into the control room of U-75 as we begin our fourth war patrol in the Mediterranean. We were just attacked by a pair of aircraft, and our hydrophone operator, upon diving, has picked up a warship medium speed closing. And there we go, there is also a merchant ship. Let's check and see who's on the hydrophone. This fella, let's get... Alfron's Pharaoh onto the hydrophone here. After our last patrol, the crew got quite a few promotions, and one of those is actually from Kurt Kohler here. He received the Iron Cross Second Class and Iron Cross First Class. Many of our crew members received the U-Boat Front Class as well. Our entire crew now has the U-Boat War Badge as well, after successfully completing at least one single patrol here. So the crew is getting quite decorated. It's only a matter of time before a good chunk of the crew gets transferred off our boat and spread about the U-boat fleet. But right now we have a task to take care of. Let's take a look at these ships. Okay, we have two ships out here around 20 kilometers out and they very well may be closing directly at us, which would be perfect. And it does look like that is the case. Seems like they may be heading north, northwest. And it looks like one of them may be zigzagging about. Let's try to establish their course and see if we can intercept submerged. At this point, I do not want to surface the boat again. Okay, I have them. This is very rough, of course, on a heading of around 293 degrees. Let's mark it down. There we go. And yeah, we should easily be able to intercept because from our current position, 
their track is only four and a half kilometers away. We are going to change our course now to intercept. We'll lay in wait here at 70 meters just to avoid those aircraft. I guarantee you they are still flying about searching for us. We are at periscope depth, and as you can see, the weather has gotten quite a bit worse. When we were on the surface and attacked by aircraft, it was just cloudy overhead. It was not hissing rain, but as you can see, it is quite rainy. The target's off to 337 degrees. We are going to have to get really freaking close to be able to pop off a shot. Let's see, what's our range from their track? Two kilometers. We're going to have to get quite a bit closer than that. We'll maintain the speed and this course at present. I think we'll be able to do that. Let's adjust though. New heading 190. And try to get in there. I want to avoid getting too close to the warship, of course. But good news is, with this rain, those aircraft are definitely gone. Okay, down scope. An interesting development. Makes things a little more exciting, I suppose. We are very close to the target. They're about just a kilometer away. Up scope. Still maintaining our speed of three knots here. Okay. Please tell me where they are. Zero, zero, 007. Okay, I can barely see the outline of something. Okay, good to know. Let's keep on closing then here. The problem is going to be establishing range on the target, on the freighter. I'm going to probably just guess their length. Also, firing in these wind conditions. I mean, these are, these are absolutely horrible. Um, okay, so I'm going to guess wind speed's probably 14 meters per second. Our torpedo needs to run. We'll just go 15. It needs to run at 6 meters. We'll do 6.5. We'll do 7 meters magnetic pistol on tube number 1. Yeah, that's probably our best bet here. I think I may see something out there. We're increasing speed to four knots. I have no visual on the warship. Let's just hope it's something small and not too intimidating here. Like I said, depth under keel is, for all intents and purposes, unlimited. I'm kind of starting to make out a shadow there. Oh man, what's our range here? Just around a kilometer out. Let's keep on moving down scope. We'll move at this speed for a little bit. I'd like to get a speed reading once they hit zero. Okay, which will probably be around now, up scope. Okay, I got smoke. Hello. Okay, ship is armed. That is a passenger cargo. Let's time it. Okay, it's going to be slightly off. Let me get it set. I'm going to guess her range is what? 115? 130? I'm going to flip through this like a mad here and try to establish what we're working with. Looks Australian. Okay, once we're done timing, we are immediately going to turn hard to starboard. Okay, get ready to stop. Passing the stern, there's a gun, and mark. Okay, turn. Please and thank you. Oh, flip, flip, flip. There she is. Okay, what's your length? 90 meters, 90 meters. Okay, so we got 24 seconds. 24 all the way over to 90 meters. She is going 7 point, yeah, 7.4 knots. Okay, just over there, set. Okay, angle on bow of target. That is a little past 90 starboard, like 95, set. Range the target, we'll go 
800 meters. Magnetic pistol, everything looks set. Open to one. Okay, this is about as good as we are going to get. Tube one, los. Rohr eins. Rohr ah, eins. ist im Wasser. Los, los. There we go, direct impact on target, directly amidships. Fantastic. Okay, it is time to get out of here. Increase speed seven knots, drop down like a rock, down to 100. Let's get out of here, new heading. Turn around, please, turn around. The ship is still moving, surprisingly. There is debris in the water. She is not on fire. I suspect that hit below the water line or underneath the keel, excuse me. So I'm sure she is taking on water quite rapidly. Down scope. Now we wait for the Aztec. Okay, periscope secured. Hydrophone operator, can you please tell me where our friend is? 112, moving away. Okay, we have turned around. We are closing in on 100 meters. No Azdic. Let's reduce our speed down to two knots. We're where we want to be. Okay, we're where we want to be. We are going to lurk away, and hopefully we can get confirmation that this freighter is sinking. Our worship friends bearing 207. Yep, there she is. Hello. Derzeitige Tiefe 100. Kriegsschiff That's the merchant. 206. Kommt näher. Still moving. I can't tell if I'm hearing her take on water. Let's see anything else around us? Make sure reinforcements are not on the way. Nope. Just this warship, which is uh, hauling ass towards our position. Um, okay, down to 130. Neue Tiefe. If we can give them the slip right off the bat, that would be ideal. Let's turn New heading 040. The warship is still closing quite quickly. Freighter sounds like she's slowing down. We're proceeding to move away. So far, no Aztec, so that's good. Let's see, what are we loading in? I know, let's turn off auto loading. I don't know what I'm loading into tube one. Oh, they wanted to load a G7E, a T2. Okay, fine, go ahead and do that. We'll have that loaded in once we secure from silent running. I will say, our warship friend here, the one off to 240 relative, does not seem to be closing very fast. It could be something small like a Corvette having trouble in these heavy seas. So, that's good news. With this pea soup that we're dealing with, if things get really tricky, we can put, you know, seven, eight hundred meters in between us and then surface and book it out of the area, hopefully. Because we can't outrun those Corvettes on the surface. I wish I knew which direction the wind was coming from. So that way we can prepare and make our escape with the wind instead of fighting it. No Aztec still, though. May get away scot-free. Oh, there we go. The Aztec has started. The ship may be trying to make a pass on us. Okay, deeper. 160 meters. Hopefully those dockyard workers in La Spezia did their jobs. Okay, I hear her. Hydrophone operator, please. Why can you not do that? Follow it. 223, 223. Okay. 
wait till she's right above us. Kriegsschiff auf 216, kommt näher. Yeah, she's moving. Kriegsschiff auf 219. Thankfully, we're so deep is going to be quite. There we go. All ahead flank. Left full rudder. That charge is dropping. Time to go. Now we are deep. So that is a long drop time, but at this point in the war, and the Allies were cooking up new depth charge designs, could actually drop significantly more quickly. Okay, turning. We thankfully we are diving really fast now. Okay, steady up on three two zero. Okay, depth charge is exploding. Shallow. Way, way too shallow. And scattered. Okay. Maintain this speed as we drop down. Move down quick. We're up to seven knots. Yeah, we've been detected. Shocking news. Okay. Slow up. Wow. Okay, interesting. And this freighter is still afloat. Which is, um... Impressive. I expected it would sink by now. I could have fired off two torpedoes, but it did not seem like a ship worth that. How many tons is she? Only 2,000 tons. Okay. Well, time will tell if uh, she finally succumbs to flooding. Also, in these seas, it's going to be hard to repair. It's also going to be hard for our destroyer friend to actually hunt us. The charges are rolling. All ahead flank. You all know the drill. Electric motors are starting up. What's her course? Where is she? Oh, she's dropping. She's laying it on thick here. Okay. Honestly, maintain this course. This course is fine. That guy just told me to be quiet. I could go deeper. I don't think it's necessary right now. Waiting to see where they explode. Okay, reduce speed. Distant. Aft. Down to 50 RPM. Play nice and quiet. We do have bull decoys that we can use. Again, I don't think it's necessary. I think evading depth charges here is going to be relatively easy. Hey, hey, we just got the report. She's going down. That freighter is going down. Fantastic. Passenger cargo sunk July 19th, 1942. Let's take a listen. See if we can even hear her. Yeah, she's off there somewhere. Oh, there we go. First ship of the patrol sunk. That was a pretty good attack. Now we just need to escape. Well, our warship friend has put quite a bit of distance between the two of us. She is now over a kilometer out. Let's continue our original course and come up to periscope depth. And now we're going to get ready to surface and run away. U-75 is now at periscope depth. We've actually lost hydrophone contact on the warship, but we are going to do a scan before surfacing. 
Overall, that was relatively easy to evade. None of the warships depth charges got anywhere close to us. Do a quick scan. Scope's getting washed over quite frequently. These waves are horrendous. All right, we're good. Down scope, surface the boat. We can increase speed to standard now as well. Let's get out of here. Well, folks, U-75 has hit the surface, and we are on our way out of here. That is going to do it for episode one of our fourth patrol. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.